and I'm going to talk about lymphedema. Hello friends, my name is Dr. Pradeep Kumar Singh. It causes symptomatology and how we diagnose it and what are the treatment options which are available to help these patients who are having lymphedema. Basically, there is a parallel lymphatic system in our body which carries the extracellular fluid rich in protein from the extremities to the center of the uh, body towards the vascular system. So this, this parallel system is called the lymphatic system. So whenever there is a stasis in the lymphatic fluid and there is a problem in the lymphatic system, so patient get the lymphedema. That is the edema of the extremity, whether it could be hands or could be foot or leg. Patients have initially, in initial stage, patient have little puffiness of the hand, puffiness of the foot. Slowly, slowly, gradually, it, it hardens and the, there is a, there are few skin changes also after the, after some times it is if it is not cured or if it is not timely managed so what are the causes of lymphedema lymphedema can be categorized into two uh, group basically primary lymphedema and secondary lymphedema primary lymphedema when there is an inherent issue inherent problem with the lymphatic system from the birth itself so it could be uh, congenital lymphedema it could be adolescent in lymphedema which is called uh, lymphedema tarda or it could be adult lymphedema secondary lymphedema is because of some insult to the lymphatic system after the birth so it could be because of any trauma it could be because of any cancer surgery or it could be because per se because of the cancer of the region where the lymphatics are lymphatic channels are present or lymph node stations are there so these are the basic causes of lymphedema so what are the symptomatology of the lymphedema patients, how they present to our clinic, how they, they, they do go about it. So basically initially, in initial stage, patient experience the puffiness of the limbs, could be hands or could be foot. Initial, uh, slowly, slowly, they also experience some pain, some skin changes. In long standing cases, there are a lot of patient gets elephantiasis also. The limb girth becomes so much that they are not able to uh, move their limb, not able to walk, not able to do any general activity. So that's how the uh, lymphedema patient present to our clinic. Now when we talk about the diagnostic methods, so basically it's a clinical issue. We, we just see the patient and we know that the patient is having lymphedema. The initial stage it is pitting, but in the long-standing cases it is non-pitting edema with lots of skin changes. When we talk about the treatment option and the management of the of these patients, specifically the surgical management, then we do the lymphocentric and lymphangiography to assess the position of the lymphatics and the lymphatic lymphatic channel that is the lymph nodes so we do the lymphangiography uh, we have the lymphangiography facility in our hospital where we inject the dye in the web space of the fingers or the toes and we see the how and we scan the with the gamma camera and see the lymph, uh, status of the lymphatics whether they are uh, intact or not or there is a dilatation of the lymphatic channels so that's how we diagnose and that's how we plan the patient for the surgery if the surgery is required now when we talk about the management of the lymphedema patient there are we divide it into two phases one is the conservative management and another is the surgical management surgical management is further in two stages which we which i'll talk about later first we come to the uh, conservative management when after the lymphangiography we found that the lymphatics are lymphatic vessels are intact and lymphatic basins which are also called the lymph nodes they are also intact and it is uh, then we know that it's a temporary phase of the uh, edema so it can be very well relieved with the help of the conservative management, which has uh, three stages, three three part of the conservative management. First, we do the manual drainage of the uh, extremity. Then we do the tropical bandaging and the limb elevation. So these are the main three steps for the conservative management of the uh, lymphedema. Initial stages of the lymphedema can be very well managed by the conservative treatment. This problem gets chronic and we know that there is a uh, certain blockage of the lymph lymphatic vessels and the lymphatic lymph node stations then only the surgical options are left. Whenever there is a failure of conservative management, we offer the surgical uh, treatment. Surgical treatment is in, divided into two phases. One is the physiological surgical treatment. The second is the excisional procedures. In physiological procedures, we either we bypass the lymphatic channels or we provide the new 
lymph node basin which are there in other part of the extremities that means we do the free vascularized lymph node transfer and lymph lymphovenous anastomosis we do what we do in lymphovenous anastomosis when we found that there are uh, lymphatics which are intact we anastomose those lymphatics with the venous channels so the lymph node lymphatic system gets bypassed through the veins so we bypass the uh, blocked area and the lymph tend to get flow through the venous system so that's that's how we do the lymphatic channels when we see there are no lymphatic uh, vessels intact lymphatic vessels on lymphangiography then we do the free vascularized lymph node where where we take the uh, lymph nodes along with its vascular supply from the other part of the body most common sites are the uh, axillary lymph nodes or the supraclavicular lymph nodes uh, we take those lymph nodes along with the vascular supply and we implant those uh, lymph nodes in the extremity in lower uh, extremity we implant them into, at the ankle area we do the vascular anastomosis and we presume that there is there is going to be some lymphogenesis when there are no lymph intact lymphatic vessels uh, are present on the lymphangiography then we do the free vascularized lymph node transfer where we transfer the lymph nodes along with its vessels from the other part of the body uh, most common sites are the supraclavicular lymph nodes and the axillary lymph nodes we transfer those lymph nodes into the ankle in case of lower extremity in the uh, wrist in case of uh, upper extremity and we anastomose the blood vessels of that area hoping that there is, there is going to be some lymphogenesis and uh, production of the efferent and afferent lymphatics which helps the uh, edema to subside and to drain the whatever edema is there on the extremity so that's how we do the surgical management after once we do the surgical management there is a time period we ask the patient to do the extensive physiotherapy and extensive conservative management for the at least for the 6 months so that the lymphatic channels they start working again and they they they, they are opened up and patient experience the lymphedema to subside so these are the management steps of the lymphedema thank you very much